Manny, I'm gonna need you to give us just a smidge of room here. Thank you. So at the beginning of the last year, I made this list, and the goal was that by the end of the year, I was either going to make some of this stuff or buy the other items. Uh, I've been slacking a little bit. So I figure this week, I'm gonna head out on a shopping trip around town. Now specifically, I'm hoping that maybe I can find this cable knit sweater, definitely in white, something like this. So first up, I'm gonna go to a local spot, which is more of a antique store, but they do have a clothing section, so we'll see. And as you can tell, uh, winter wonderland right now, embracing the season. They did have an interesting selection of clothes, and yes, this was in the men's section. There was also this sport coat slash smoking jacket that looked to be made out of a blanket. But needless to say, uh, I'm getting the sense that this is not my type of stuff. Further down the street, my old favorite, Value Village, or turns out as you Americans call it, Savers. Man, if only these weren't size 11, those are kind of fun. And after a quick investigation, I realized they were quite cheaply made. Google searched it, turns out it was a Target brand. But that's not what I was there for. So I started digging through the sweater section. And then I found this beauty. Check the tags, it was the real deal. Oh, and the fabric, so nice and soft. I, I had to try it on. It's tempting, it's very tempting. I mean, I could tailor it a little bit, shorten the sleeves, take it in. Pondered for a second, but I kept it moving. Continuing down Queen Street East, and uh, now I'm going to go to a place called Common Sort. Mind you, their men's section is about, oh, yay big, but who knows? <laughs> Chances were slim, but at least I tried. Apparently it's minus 16 degrees Celsius. Feels like minus 29. I'm feeling every one of those Celsiuses. All right, that is it for the East End. Let's head to the West. What do you have for me? Well, this is exactly what I'm looking for. I mean, come on. Hand finished, made in Ireland with traditional Irish stitches, merino wool, machine washable. Yeah. I don't know about the fit, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, just a little bit too big for my liking, but not big enough to be completely oversized. There's some little holes in it that was not that great a shape. Next up, Vintage Depot, and I found a nice, decent little selection there. Unfortunately, the only one that looked like it would roughly fit me was, well, for a more portly Cornelius. Right around here, there's a whole cluster of stores. That's going to be popping in from one to the next. This next place, Exile. This is where I stumbled upon the Motherload. And the selection was big, but... Unfortunately, there was only a few that looked like they would fit me, and, well, this one again was just a little bit too big. There's the rule for skinny guys, which is embrace your thinness and wear lean-fitting clothes. Ooh. This one is too small. Let's not give up now. I may be feeling a little blue about the whole experience, but keep at it. That store's got it right. Just what I need right now. I must keep my courage. If only it didn't have a zipper. It'd be nice. 
or a hoodie for that matter. No, nope, definitely not it. And those are jackets. Huh. Okay. I'm giving up on Kensington. I'm gonna check out one more spot, see what I can find. I've gone full snake mode. I can legitimately not feel my toes anymore. F as in Frank, a little vintage shop on Queen West, close to Spadina. Surprisingly affordable for how expensive the neighborhood is. Uh, yeah, not quite on him after either. Mm. Almost at the Kanye stage where it's about to be torn, but not quite, you know? Okay, I'm done. I tried. That's all I can say, I tried. Come on, Mandy, please don't make me beg. I'm, I'm trying to make lemons out of lemonade here. I'm already a little ashamed of the fact, okay? All right, yes, I did miss some of the obvious signs. The plunging V-neck neckline. I know, the hips, they flare out on the side. You want me to say it, don't you? I'll say it. Look, I'll say it. I bought a woman's sweater. Oh, come on. Don't pretend like you don't want to be in these photos. You're always asking for camera time. Mandy, it actually looks pretty good on you. Wear it with pride, come on. Oh, look at that pose. You do have a model in you. I knew it. Etsy.ca Shop manager. You know what? Let's go with uh, let's go with this one. I kind of like this photo. Turned out well. Oh come on! Yeah, now all of a sudden you like it. Now that you know, I might be able to sell it. All right, we uh, we gotta give this thing a title. Vintage women's Adidas sweater. Bracket, uppercase, great condition. With an exclamation mark. That's always the important part. Great condition! I know it's clickbaity, but you know what? It works. And it is. It is in good condition. Occasion, going to the Alps, skiing, meeting up with the Hoff. Uh, that doesn't seem to be an option. Okay. Um, price. Well, the other woman who listed it that I saw online had it for about 50 bucks, let's say 35, you know, that way I still make a few shekels for my efforts, plus decently priced, I think so, yeah. Yes, I wish to publish, I will pay the 20 cent fee. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, this will probably take some time. Um, in a future video, I'll, I'll check in when I, when I sell this thing.